Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, tonight we've got to talk about something incredibly important that we are going to deal with across the board in 2022. Pretty much, if you live in a state that's dominated by Democratic politicians in major cities, primarily all the blue states, you have got some stuff coming your way in regards to assault weapon controls, gun control, through the same model that Texas did with abortion this year. Gavin Newsom just came out and plays a hardball with the gun control that they're doing in California, and he is opening it up to sue private individuals suing anyone who, quote, manufactures, distributes, or sells an assault weapon in California. Now, the details are as follows. They're coming here in a second in this video. Everything is linked in the description box below. But it's incredibly important to understand that this is the reason we covered this from the angle that we did earlier this year. This is the reason that the Firearms Policy Coalition came out against the Texas abortion law that got passed. Because it can be used in other ways against other fundamental rights. And that's what we're starting to see now. I've got everything linked, like I said. I want to hear from you guys, but let's dive in because i got to talk to you about how California Governor Gavin Newsom is going after the gun rights through the same model that Texas did. So here we go. This is from Politico, a left-leaning source. California governor wants Texas-like law to ban assault guns, quote, assault guns. Gavin Newsom wants to pass a law that would let private citizens sue to enforce California's ban on assault weapons. Now, like I said, that's very similar to what happened in Texas, but let's dive in here and let's look at the actual details. Sacramento, California. California governor Gavin Newsom on Saturday pledged to empower private citizens to enforce a, a ban on the manufacture and sale of assault weapons in the state, citing the same authority claimed by conservative lawmakers in Texas to outlaw most abortions once a heartbeat is detected. Now they're talking about the Texas abortion ban law uses private sector individuals to sue um, the people who would enable abortion. Okay. Meanwhile, Republican lawmakers in Texas this year passed a law banning abortions after a fetal heartbeat is detected, which normally occurs at about six weeks into pregnancy. The Texas law allows private citizens to enforce the ban, encouraging, or excuse me, empowering them to sue abortion clinics and anyone else who aids and abets within the procedure. Now, that's the whole idea here. It's, you didn't make it illegal, but you can make it impossible, right? Illegal is not the same as impossible. But let's dive in because that's, that's, that's the groundwork and the foundation. But now let's look into what the actual catalyst here is that Gavin Newsom is so fired up about. Check this out because this is directly affecting your firearm rights nationwide. Friday, the U.S. Supreme Court allowed the Texas law to remain in effect while abortion clinics sued to block it. That decision incensed Newsom, a Democrat who supports ab abortion rights. Now, Newsom's straight off a of governor recall. He's just been, quote, reelected. But... He's got nothing to lose here, and he's only got positive by enforcing these things, and he's going to be the leader because he has political aspirations beyond California. God help us all. But here's what he said. If states can now shield their laws from review by the federal courts that compare assault weapons to Swiss Army knives, talking about the San Diego decision that put a stay on the assault weapons ban earlier this year, we covered it extensively, then California will use that authority to protect people's lives where Texas used it to put women in, women in harm's way, Newsom said in a statement released by his office Saturday at 7 p.m. I would argue if it really put women in harm's way, but that's conjecture for another channel. Right now, we're focusing on the two-way aspect here. Newsom said that he has directed his staff to work with the state's legislature and its Democratic Attorney General to pass a law that would let private citizens sue to enforce California's ban on assault weapons. Newsom said that people who sue could win up to $10,000 per violation, plus other costs and attorney fees against anyone who, quote, manufactures, distributes, or sells an assault weapon in California. And now that right there is almost a mirror of exactly what Texas did with the abortion side of this argument. And that's where you get into a problem when you do these broad strokes that are kind of unique approaches to an aspect. It can be turned against you. It's kind of like that old saying George Washington used to say about fire is a useful servant, but a dreadful master. It depends how you use the tool. You kind of see that across our nation, but let's keep going. But Newsom's Saturday Night Declaration is a fulfilled prophecy for some gun rights groups who had predicted progressive states would attempt to use Texas's abortion law to restrict access to guns. It's starting to happen. 
That's why the Firearms Policy Coalition, a nonprofit group that advocates for gun rights, filed a brief with the U.S. Supreme Court opposing the Texas law. And I did a video on just that based around this whole concept. It's going to be used in other rights, and it, there's almost no end once you're starting to pull on this little thread for the sweater. If Texas succeeds in its gambit here, this is from the FPC statement, New York, California, New Jersey, and others will not be far behind in adopting equally aggressive gambits to not merely chill, but to freeze the right to keep and bear arms, Attorney Eric Jaff wrote on behalf of the Firearms Policy Coalition. And they're dead right. I'm going to be honest, guys. They are dead right, and that's why it's so important that when we make moves, we have to do them the right way. We have to make sure we uh, cross our T's, dot our I's, because if we do not, that same tool that we're using will become a weapon against us. And that is what we're going to start seeing here in California, and in 2022, I bet you you're going to see this in a lot of other blue states as well. That's what I have for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden, signing out.